Hey, this is Coach Elan. I hope you are having a good day. So today I'm joined by Rose, who has recently just finished my eight-week transformation program. How are you doing today, Rose? I'm good, Elan. Thank you. Uh, I'm very good. Brilliant. Delighted to hear that. Um, so today, basically, I just want to learn a bit more about your experience on the eight-week transformation program. And first of all, I was just wondering, uh, what is your profession? Um, I'm the manager of the community training center. Cool. And why were you struggling before starting my eight-week transformation program? I think it was more around, I suppose, how I felt. Um, I have tried to do exercises. I've tried to, that dreaded word, the diet. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't really feel motivated. Um, I felt, I actually felt quite old, even though I'm only 54. I was mm -hmm. definitely feeling my age. So I felt really, it wasn't really about me when I was doing it. I wasn't in the right mindset to do it. So it was really the fact that I suppose we were in COVID. We were, I was struggling with that aspect because I was working from home. So it was difficult to motivate myself, to be honest with you. Cool. And what was it specifically that you were struggling with before starting my eight-week transformation program? I think around, I would start saying that I'm going to walk or I do some dental exercises four or five days a week. Uh, so then if you didn't start to reach that four or five days a week, I was annoyed with myself. Or I would say that I was trying to start on a healthy eating plan. And if I didn't do it for the first few days, I would, I would be annoyed with myself. And then I'd say, oh, look, we'll, we'll continue on. Also, I suppose the whole idea with the pandemic and the whole pandemic stone, you know, it was that motivation as well, I think. And I, I really got stuck in a rut mm -hmm. during that time because while I'm at work, I'm busy, I'm walking around, you know, there's a large team, there's a lot of learners. Mm -hmm. So I was busy, whereas when I was working from home, I wasn't walking around as much. So I really felt it then. I really got stuck in a rut and that's really was for me what I was struggling with. Okay, cool. And uh, what were you skeptical of before investing in the eight week program? I suppose we were very lucky um, that um, uh, one of the team had organized and coordinated you to do a health and wellbeing program at work. So I suppose the exercise aspect of that, I was really interested in. Um, it was dental exercises. So I suppose I knew what it was about, that side of it. Yeah. I suppose the skeptical side is around, I suppose, investing in myself. Um, it is an investment. Um, I think it's a fantastic investment. The reward is priceless. But at the time, I didn't know that. So it was around getting the information and having that 15 minutes one-to-one -one with you and getting that realistic information. So I was skeptical about investing in myself, which I realized I didn't really do. I thought I did, but I actually didn't. So I almost had to justify to myself, why am I doing this from not necessarily a financial aspect, but also from a time aspect um and that was an eye-opener for me um so i suppose from that perspective i was slightly skeptical from my point of view mm -hmm. yep makes sense and really interested to find out what was your first big breakthrough from us working together i suppose my main one one was and it was a real gradual one was around my mindset around food that was huge for me huge um i can't stress that enough around the thinking about food and not being bad foods, good foods, but just having choices and different choices. The plan that you gave was very varied and I like that. It really was a lot of the foods that I eat anyway. Yeah. But it was around choosing the different options. You talk, you know, you spoke about the protein, the carbohydrates and the calories aspect. Um, I found that for me was definitely the change, the mindset. What came after that, and it was almost like a domino effect for me, what came after that was the gradual leaning. My body had changed. My mindset had changed. Physically, I looked completely different. I feel mentally, I completely feel different. But yeah. the main thing for me was definitely the mindset around food and the knock-on effect that came after that was for me results. Cool. Sounds good. And then uh, what have been some of your specific results from the eight-week program? 
I suppose when, when you know, you, we, we spoke about the health and well-being aspect of it, I suppose the main result for me was that change in my attitude towards, not necessarily myself, I would have considered myself quite confident, mm -hmm. but I was, as I was saying earlier, I was just feeling that little bit old. Um, and that was to do my energy levels were bad, so we're not good. So the main thing for me was around that my body shape has changed, my frame has changed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know on the program that it's not about weight loss um, and, you know, you don't encourage to, to go on the scales. So I've only been on the scales twice. So that aspect for me was like, I have lost up to 16 pounds. But that's not, for me, the most important thing. Mm -hmm. My body shape has completely changed. I've lost inches on my chest, my arms, my legs, my stomach has toned up a little bit. You know, it's another little bit more work in that sense because I think it's a continuation. And that, for me, has been that mindset of this is not just a quick fix. This is the mindset change for what my lifestyle is going to be like. And it's an achievable lifestyle. And I've realized that it's realistic and attainable. So I suppose for me, it's the, it's the my body shape has definitely changed. I'm going to say I got into the jeans I haven't got into in four years. Yeah. You know, because, you know, you buy clothes that fit your shape and that's great. And my shape, I was comfortable. You know, I was confident. But really, when I thought about it, I had put on those extra pounds. I wasn't healthy. That was for me, that fitness level. It was about the health aspect. I have a grandchild who's active and I felt at times that I wasn't really able to do certain things that she wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, it's around, as I said, I'm, my, my body shape has changed, my frame has changed, I'm leaner. Um, and I feel really good. I'm, I'm gonna say that I feel really good. I feel really good. Sweet, and at the end of the day, you know, that's the most important thing that you are feeling really good, so. That's amazing to hear. And uh, so last question for today, uh, who would you recommend my eight week transformation program for? Okay, so I would say everybody. Um, you know, um, the one thing I found with the eight week transformation program is around the information that you get. So for me, it was having that information. For me, it was having the correct and expertise information. I would say that about this program. Um, you have a wealth of knowledge, Elin. So I felt very comfortable. So everything that we were doing was gradual. You know, it was realistic. Uh, you didn't push. Um, and then when I did achieve something, you were very honest about it. Um, and, you know, there was the high five, which was great. I have to admit, I really enjoyed that. The structure of the, um, for me, the sessions that we have, I built those into my day. That's what I really enjoyed. I started to build. So being healthy, which will improve my mental well-being, is now part of my day. Whereas before it was a chore, it's now very much a part of my day. So I would recommend to everybody of any age that wants to, you know, look at a healthier lifestyle, um, so whether that's from the plan that I got, the personalized plan that I got, you know, and the, 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 the sneaky cheats, but also the snacks. And what I really got from that was um, I used the uh, fitness iPal, the, the foods that I thought were healthy -ish. in reality, it's not that they weren't healthy, mm -hmm. but I could have gone for something different that I might have enjoyed more. So the options were there. And I think having that knowledge, having the exercises that do, you would send and to do those at any stage. So absolutely, it started my journey of my health and well-being, Elan. Mm -hmm. And I feel it's realistic and I will continue with this journey. Brilliant. Doesn't mean that I don't, you know, I absolutely still have my takeaways, but I just look at the menu a little bit differently now. You know, so I just look at it differently. Um, but again, you know what I was saying, just you use that eight week program um, has started my health and well-being journey for my case for life. Awesome. Well, that's really great to hear, Rose, and I uh, appreciate all the kind words. And, okay. Well uh, deserved. Yeah, thanks a million. So we'll leave it at that for today and okay. uh, we'll talk again soon. Okay, take care. Thanks, uh, Elin. Thank you.